We're asked to uh, simplify the following. So what we're going to do is we're going to factorise the numerator and denominator and look for uh, something we can uh, divide top and bottom or common factors. So the top clearly factorises to x add 3, x add 4 and the bottom factorises uh, to the following. It would factorise to a 2x and x. Um, it factorises to plus 4 and plus 1 like that. So you can divide the top and bottom by the common factor of x add 4 and this therefore would be uh, x add 3 over 2x add 1. Like that. Part B uh, solve the following equation. Immediately before you start launching into it I'd like you to notice that there's that term on there and this term is the denominator here. So let's use that fact, let's try and use that fact clearly to solve this. So if we were to subtract ln of 2x squared plus 9x plus 4 from both sides and add 1 to both sides so that the luns are together we would get the following line ln of x squared add 7x add 12 subtract ln of 2x squared add 9x add 4 would be equal to 1. Okay, And the reason I want to do that is now I can use my log laws. Log A take away log B is log A divided by B. So now I can write this as a combined log. So the natural logarithm of x squared add 7x add 12 divided by 2x squared add 9x add 4 would be 1. Now, this now could be written as my simplified version of that. So I could write that the natural logarithm of x add 3 divided by 2x add 1 is equal to 1. I could take exponents of both sides, exponentials of both sides, to get x add 3 over 2x add 1 would be equal to e. Now I want to um, make x the subject of the formula. So multiply both sides by 2x add 1. Expand the bracket on the left hand side. And uh, make sure, let's, uh, I want all x's together on one side of the equation and all numbers together on the other side. So I'm going to subtract 2ex from both sides and subtract 3. So I'm going to get x subtract 2ex is equal to e subtract 3. Factorise the x. And divide by 1, subtract 2e. And I'm done. I've done this question now. So I've given my answer in terms of e as required. Obviously, it would be useful if you work actually worked that out and substituted it in, in both sides of the equation, it would help you determine if you got the right answer.